Hey guys, Jason M here and I wanted to share with you guys some unique tweaks for the Nexus 6P. For most of these, you'll need a root and a custom recovery. Let's start off with black UI. You guys know the Nexus 6P has an AMOLED screen which means anything black on it means the display is off. This is very efficient and looks incredible on AMOLED displays because blacks are actually blacks and not blue, grey or grey like on LCDs. To get this, you'll need root, layers manager and layers theme called domination. Layers Manager is just an advanced theme manager and Google added support for it in Android 6.0. You can apply the domination theme to different apps of your choosing, but make sure you install the frameworks to get a complete black UI and get that awesome AMOLED experience. Next on this list is Catalyst Mode. This comes as the 6MB download which adds custom ROM features to Google stock ROMs. You can basically just download this and flash with a custom recovery on your stock ROM. No wipes or factory resets needed. It has so many features and really fixes the bottom bare bones experience of stock Android. You can customize your navbar, have your device toggle cellular radius when the screen is on or off, disable vibrations when unlocking with a fingerprint scanner, add wallpapers to your lock screen independently of your home screen and so much more. The good thing is you can even flash a custom kernel on top of Catalyst mode giving you an awesome combination of Catalyst mode, stock Google Android and the custom kernel features. Which leads me to the next thing, a custom kernel. For Nexus devices, there's so many of them. If you don't know what a custom kernel is, I'll be leaving a link to one of my old videos that I did way back, which can educate you on this. The best and most renowned kernels are Elemental, Kylo, and AK. I use AK because it's much more stable and I'm not bombarded by the death of frequent kernel releases and updates. If you've used Kylo, you know what I mean by this. How awesome is this kernel? Well, for one, it can help you tweak the display colors on the Nexus 6P. I complained in my full review that the Nexus 6P has a warmer display than I would really like it to be, making the whites look dirty. Because I have this kernel now, I can tweak the whites and other colors to my eyes content. Now it looks incredible and just how I like it. Secondly, you can get some features that Samsung Galaxy series this year have. The Galaxy devices this year get extremely bright and are the easiest to see in direct sunlight. Well, now the 6P does the same with this kernel. Now there are even free apps in the Play Store that can toggle this feature if you have a custom kernel that supports this high brightness mode. I added this to my notification shade with an app called Custom Quick Settings, which makes it easier to toggle this in direct sunlight. Thirdly, this custom kernel also makes the 6P as dark as Samsung's devices, which is very handy when reading or using your phone at night. This makes the display way less harsh on the eyes. There are so many other custom kernel features which this video alone can cover and AK isn't the only kernel offering these features, I just tend to prefer it over the other kernels. The last thing on the list actually doesn't need root or whatever, it's an annoyance I had in the 6P when I got it. When using the power button to launch the camera shortcut, the device gets locked. This is annoying because you can't see all your pictures without having to unlock your phone again. So head to the settings, go to the security section and toggle off power button instantly locks. Now your device won't get locked again when using this shortcut and you're welcome. So that was it guys, if you like this video don't forget to share it, hit the like button below and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Also if you want to change this boring home screen to this, stay tuned and be subscribed. Have a happy new year you all.